Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know, every Wednesday I upload a video which is like a supportive video and as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking to you about how I managed to get Edward to stop taking his bottle at night time to his beaker. If I'm being honest, don't expect something like, whoa, I didn't think of that. It's something pretty basic, I think anyway. And just because this worked with Edward doesn't mean it's going to work with every single child out there. You know your child best really and if you think it's going to benefit from doing anything really then you just go with what you want to do um but i thought i could just share with you this story if it helps anyone that'd be amazing so this video is also in collaboration with the lovely mother hen club every wednesday i upload a video for them they are a really lovely supportive community for mums expected parents all their information will be linked below so make sure you go and check them out on all their social media platforms direct message them on instagram and if you have any questions or queries or any topics you need covering then we will get back to you on that as well but let's talk about the bee car first of all edward has always been bottle fed and originally he was with the Dr. Brown bottles because he had really bad reflux as a baby. So I then went from the normal Dr. Brown bottles. I changed them up. Even though he wasn't ready to get rid of them, it was, if I'm being honest, it sounds really selfish. But he was over a year and a bit. And I'm thinking, you're not a baby anymore. Let's try and get you into more like easier bottles it was still a bottle but it wasn't like an actual baby dr brown bottle and if i'm being honest it's about five parts to clean per bottle and i was running out of time to do it looking after a toddler and i'm, th I'm thinking these bottles need to go because it was becoming too much it was hard work cleaning them and maintaining them so they went and i went into mother care and i bought just the plain basic normal bottle basically it's very the very tall slender ones with the teat on top so i picked those up and he had them for ages and then when he reached about how old i reckon it was a good four months ago i thought no more bottles when i get something in my head i usually that's it for me i'm quite brutal with that but I thought I can't take away his bottle. I can't just take it away and then just give him this. He'd be like, what's going on? I originally bought this and I hoped that he would have it eventually for bedtime other than his bottle. So what I thought to do, which made sense to me personally, rather than just getting rid of the bottle, everything that he knows really, just me going bye and he's like, where is it gone? And then giving him something that he's not used to it's very hard it's not a bottle it's a beaker and he'd be like what's this so i gave this to him in the morning he was used to it he knew how to it sounds really really silly but he knew how to drink from it and it made sense to him this wasn't the first beaker he's ever drank out of he drank out of those tommy tippy uh, water beakers that most kids have so he's drunk out of a beaker before and cups and he knew how to he knew how it worked but night time I don't know i feel like children are vulnerable when they're when they're going to bed and when they're in a routine and they have their blanket and they have their story and they have their teddy and then they want their bottle and then they don't have a bottle and they're thinking what's going on and they get very well edward gets very upset so i gave him this for a good couple of months in the morning he knew what it was he got used to it and that's how i did it i just said to edward bottles are all gone now i don't think he even realized what i was talking about but he had these in the morning for, he must have started using this in the morning only about a good year ago. So he's very used to it. So a good couple of months ago, from from now, a good couple of months ago, if this makes any sense to you, I apologise if it doesn't. So from now, a couple of months ago, I thought, right, no more bottles. And I said to Edward, let's take a bite of bottles, bye bye, bye bye. And he was all like, what's going on? And I then got this out rather than his bottle. He did whinge he was like i'm a bit confused didn't really know what to expect of it and i noticed he doesn't drink as much and it made sense to me the bottle he wasn't having the milk because he was hungry because he wanted it it was comfort and when they suck on it obviously the milk comes and they think oh what do i do with this and they just swallow it so they drink a lot more through the bottles if you notice your child not drinking as much from the bee car pretty sure it's normal because my son definitely didn't drink as much he i fill it up to about there and he probably drinks about that he has a couple of mouthfuls and that's it really so that's what we did i gradually introduced it slowly to him and he got used to it very quickly i'd give it a good couple of months before you give it to him at bedtime get him used to it make sure he knows what the what it is he knows how to drink from it it sounds really silly this <laughs> this bottle is from four months onwards it was two 
<laughs> but why change something if it's working? It's currently working, he likes this, it works. But right now, as we stand right now, which could probably change if he gets poorly or something, he's not having any milk at all now for bedtime. So I've kind of like made like a, a slow, gradual change. So he had his bottle, went to the beaker for a good couple of months. Yeah, it was a good couple of months. And then we got rid of it. And it's, he's only had it, he's only been gone, I'd say about a month now, if that. He might have it on the odd night if he's not feeling very well or he's having a sleep regression, which he's recently had. So he had it once the other night, but it's, it's there if you need it. It is like a little lifeline. Your baby wakes up and he can't go back to sleep. Just give him some milk in bed. That would be it. My advice to you would be definitely don't throw out any beakers. If you're ready to make the transition from beaker to nothing, then definitely keep it just in case if your baby's poorly or you think, crap, I've got nothing to give you, then keep it because it is a little lifeline. It really is. So in regards to telling him bottles are all gone, I don't think he really understood it. I didn't really want to throw a bottle in the bin in front of him because that might be a bit soul crushing, really. If somebody threw something that you cherished in the bin, it might hurt your feelings. So I didn't do that because I didn't want to upset him. Do it when you think your baby is ready. Um, that's another advice is don't think, oh, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. If, it, if you're not, if you're not sure, the baby's not ready. So just keep going and keep using the bottle. But... If you definitely know your baby is ready for it, then just get rid of it. Just go bye bye bottle and then hopefully get yourself a beaker like this. This is from Tommy Tippy, and I think I've got these in Tesco's. There's so many different ones out there now. It's so, so, they're so easy to get hold of. I'd recommend one with the handles, um, easy for them to grab. And if, you're, if your toddler has been having a sippy cup full of water and stuff, they usually have the handles like this too, so they're used to drinking like this as well. This one, the handles do come off, so it's very easy. And if you don't want the handles, you can just have it without the handles, but I prefer it with the handles. He likes it with the handles. So yeah, that is it. That is all I did. It's quite an easy transition if your baby's ready for it and just don't rush them don't rush them and they will do it when they are ready i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's any topics that you wish for me to cover please let me know in the comments below let me know if this video helped you i'd love to know your feedback thank you so much for watching if you're new here hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys again soon bye